If you are in business and feeling like you're struggling to make sales, I've got some tips for you this morning. I'm gonna explain to you why you're struggling and what you can focus on instead so that you can win at the sales game and ultimately build a following of people that love you and what you do. Does that sound great? My name is Heather Quizzle. I'm here to level up your business and level up your life. And let's do it and let's do it big this morning, my friends. Now I am in the business of helping coach, mentor, and train women in business to get what they want out of life. And one of the biggest complaints, issues, situations I hear all the time is, I have talked to everybody I know. I've talked to everybody I know and no one's buying. This is never gonna work. Have you ever felt that way? If you felt that way, know that I get it because I've been there too. Because everybody that starts in business, what do we expect? We honestly expect that the people who love and adore us are going to buy from us. And for some reason, we think that all of those people are going to generate some massive business. Newsflash, right? That just doesn't happen that way. And the reality is everybody you know is actually about this big. And the people that you know aren't gonna be interested in what you do. Most likely, the people that you know aren't gonna be interested in what you are doing, what you're selling and what you have to offer. So here's what you've gotta do, my friend. Here's why you're struggling. You're struggling because you're sticking with this small circle of people that you know and expecting that to grow your business. And we all know, and if you didn't know, now you do know, that that just isn't gonna grow the kind of business to get you to the goals and the dreams that you have for yourself. So here's what you've got to be doing instead, my friend. When I first started my, my first business, this was seven plus years ago, I intrinsically understood I got to get known. I got to get known because me being a stay-at-home mom in the four walls of my house and knowing this amount of people is not going to grow me the kind of business that I'm jonesing for. So you first and foremost, you got to get known. You've got to get out there and get known. So how do you get known? Well, you got to get out of your house. you got to get out of your small circle. You're going to have to get out of your comfort zone and start to meet people and get known for something. And that's up to you to determine. But my friend, to get known, you got to get out there. First and foremost, you got to get out there. Do things that you're not used to doing. Look for people. Guys, there's people everywhere. And let me give you some fun little statistic nuggets this morning. Because when people tell me, I've talked to everyone, there's nobody else to talk to, I don't know where to go. My friend, over 1.3 million, no, let me let me back that up. 1.3 billion people log on to Facebook daily. 1.3 billion people log on to Facebook daily, and that grows yearly by 17%. Year after year, that grows. There's people everywhere. And, and think about this, my friend, too. One in five paved, paved views across the internet goes right back to Facebook. One in five paid page views is Facebook. So we think about like, how do I get known? Where am I gonna meet people? If you're in the Boise metro area, like I am, we've got like 650, thousand people. It's huge, right? It's way huge. But think about that. 650,000 people, that's plenty of people to grow a business in. But when you start thinking bigger, the United States has 325 million people. Globally, our population is over 7 billion. My friend, you just got to get known. And there are plenty of places to, to do that. You, you walk out your front door, you, you go to a local meeting, you hit Facebook multiple times a day, even just once, but you have access at your fingertips to billions of people every day. So how do you get known? You got to start putting yourself out there and you got to start looking for ways for you to get known. The second thing you have to remember about getting known is you have to work at it. You have to work at getting known. You want other people to know who you are. It's one thing if you know 500 people, but it's a different thing if 500 people know you that you don't know. That's where the power comes in. How do you get known by more people than you know, right? Because word of mouth travels far and wide, my friend. So we have to start being intentional about getting out there, about getting known. And lastly, you got to serve people something. To be known, to be known in the way you want to be known, to grow a business, to grow a following, 
You've got to be serving something. What is it you want to be known for? What is it, the skills that you have? How are you serving people, connecting people? What is it that you're giving that they can't get from other people? These are the, these are the things that you should be thinking about and focusing on so that you can get more sales win at that sales game. Now, let me tell you this. Here's what I hear all the time. Well, I don't have anything to be known for. I'm nothing special. I don't know why anybody would follow me in the first place. And my friend, my friend, you are unique. And that's what makes people interested in you. You can be known and will be known for big things if you allow yourself to do it. Here's the reality. I don't care how many billion people are in this world. There are people today actually jonesing for, I really like that phrase today. They're jonesing for your unique take on life. They're jonesing for your attitude, your opinion, your experience, your unique self. And until you show up, they're they're just looking around, hoping that that what they're after shows up in their world. So quit hiding behind your computer. Quit hiding in the four walls of your house. Quit giving excuses of why you can't put yourself out there and why you're not that special because my friend, you are. People are looking for you. They're excited to follow you. And once you start understanding this, get yourself out there and get known for being who you are, what you do, and the opinions you have, that's when your business is gonna flourish, my friend. Mwah!